Imagine a simple scenario. An accident has occurred on Route 68 near the border of Garrett in Allegheny County. A chemical spill has occurred and time is of the essence. Authorities from multiple agencies dispatch first responders to the scene, but when they arrive, they struggle to communicate. Each agency is using their own private radio network and none of the separate radio systems have the ability to talk with each other. As agencies struggle to communicate, the chemical spill worsens and first responders find themselves in a situation where they cannot request the equipment that will be needed for evacuation and cleanup. Fortunately, this communication problem is being addressed thanks to the Wagon Project. The Wagon Project is an interoperability network that is made up of Washington, Allegheny, and Garrett counties in the western panhandle of Maryland. The project's goal is to provide interoperable communications among the participating agencies, including police, fire, and EMS, as well as the Maryland State Police, the Maryland State Highway Administration, the Maryland Department of Natural Resources, the Maryland Emergency Management Agency, and the Maryland Institute for Emergency Medical Services Systems. In addition, the Wagon Project is also hoping to solve the interoperability challenges among the 15 surrounding counties from three bordering states, including Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. To accomplish this, there is a project team that is made up of numerous agency representatives, as well as two subcommittees, including the Operations Subcommittee and the Technical Subcommittee. Each subcommittee is supervised by a chair, co-chair, and the county directors. This collaborative effort helps facilitate the project's goal, which is to provide an interoperability solution that addresses the specific communications needs and challenges of Western Maryland in a framework that is self-sustaining but compatible with the overarching statewide interoperability network. Interoperability is so important because I think it's been shown uh, time and time again that the success or failure of any particular incident more or less hinges on the ability to communicate with each other. Uh, I think that was made clear uh, after 9-11. By tying together the various agencies, jurisdictions, and levels of government, including federal, local, and state, the Wagon Project is able to implement a technology solution that bridges divergent radio systems, along with cellular phones, landline phones, and other voice over IP technologies, including the internet. The project team also oversees a regional interoperability plan called the Tactical Interoperable Communications Plan. Much of what we do in the first responder community is built on the strong principle of pre-planning, knowing what resources are available to you, knowing how those assets function, and how ultimately you can use those assets to develop a better outcome for the incident you're working on. That tactical interoperable communications plan is basically just that, a pre-planned component necessary to implement interoperable communication strategy. This plan captures the interoperable communications resources available within the designated area and defines who controls each resource, what the rules of use are, and the operational procedures for the activation and deactivation of each resource. An extensive amount of collaboration has gone into the wagon process uh, because again, when you look at the number of agencies that have been involved within the project, we're talking about three distinct jurisdictional regions of Western Maryland. As interoperable communication is currently quite limited, the project team aims to leverage existing microwave connections and an IP network to open up communications between agencies. One example of this is the Cisco IPIC solution. The IPIC solution was made available by grant funding and enables comprehensive communications between different networks, devices, and agencies, enhancing each agency's operational effectiveness and their ability to save lives and protect property. Using the IPIC solution, users have access to agency-specific radio channels or talk groups. In addition, there is also a tax stack feature which provides connectivity to the national mutual aid channels. And through the network, the users can connect any set of radios into a virtual talk group via a web interface. The network also offers users remote connectivity where users can gain radio access from anywhere on PSINet. The system also has the ability to use any phone to connect to the radio network for phone-to-radio communications. The network also employs a policy engine that contains predefined configurations for known incidents. These policies can then notify users through email, SMS, and phone. Finally, the policy engine behind the scene will automatically set up virtual talk groups depending on the incident. 
There are also several other benefits of the system, including being able to allow radio users to be patched into any radio in the system through dispatchers via a web interface. Interconnecting to Spirit Radio Systems means we're connecting different radio systems such as VHF, UHF, low band, 7, 800 megahertz, digital, conventional, there's a lot of different disparate systems and technologies. The dispatchers also have the ability, with the right permissions, to access any channel at any PSAP that is part of the wagon network. This network will save significant time when mutual aid situations arise, and as the system moves forward, it will eventually be upgraded to support direct integration into the statewide P25 700 MHz radio system when it is deployed in Western Maryland. As the needs continue to be met, the future of the project is going to be great thanks to the collaborative effort of the project team. I think it offers us an opportunity to have an interoperability system within our county as much as it does interoperability um, outside of our county to the other neighboring jurisdictions. Direct communications among participants will save significant time when mutual aid situations arise and this can lead to saving funds and saving lives. First responders need reliable interoperable communications and through the Wagon Project, the public safety community in Washington, Allegheny and Garrett counties are having those needs met.